Hello, my kids. Welcome back in your math class. I'm Gagandeep Kaur. I hope you are doing fine. This is my third video lecture of your math book, chapter number three. In previous two videos, I have taught you all parts of addition. Now let's move further. Today we will discuss second topic of this chapter is subtraction. So just have a look at the sub parts of subtraction. First one is understanding subtraction. Second one is subtraction by counting backward. Number three, subtraction on number line. Number four, subtraction tables. Number five, subtraction facts. Number six, subtraction horizontally. And last is number seven, subtraction vertically. Students, in this video lecture, We'll discuss first three parts of subtraction. In our daily life, we come across many situations where we need subtraction. If one kid has nine pencils and he gave five pencils to his friend, then how many pencils left with him? To solve this problem, we need subtraction. So first of all, I will tell you what is subtraction. Subtraction means to take away. It means taking one number away from another. Students, what is this? This is a subtraction sign. Now I will tell you what are the objectives of subtraction. First one is students will be able to identify the subtraction by using their fingers. Second one is Students will be able to do subtraction by using number line. Students will be able to do subtraction problem by using drawing. Now, let's start to discuss our first part of subtraction that is understanding subtraction. Look at here. This is the book page number 41 of your math book. Your first question is, 5 candles minus 2 candles. So here, what do you have to do? You have to take away 2 candles from the 5 candles. So what is left with you? Just count it first. 5 candles minus 2 candles. 1, 2. So what is left with you? 3 candles. Now see the second question. 7 balloons minus 3 balloons. From 7 balloons, we will take away 3 balloons. 1, 2, 3. So, what is left with us? 4 balloons. See the third question. 4 apples minus 2 apples. From these 4 apples, I will take away 2 apples. 1, 2. So, how many apple, apples are left with us? 2 apples. Now, answer is? Two apples. See the question number four. Six bats minus two bats. So we'll take away two bats from six. Let's count one, two. So how many are left with us? One, two, three, four. Four bats. So answer is four bats. Let's move to our second topic that is subtraction by counting backward. What is counting backward? Counting backward is counting by subtracting one more every time. Just have a look at this example. 8 minus 3. So before 8, here are 3 blank. What we have to do? We have to come three steps back. Let's count. Before 8, what comes? 7. Before 7, what comes? 6. And what comes before 6? 5. So, let's count again. 8, 7, 6, 5. We have taken three steps back. So, our answer is 5. You will also do this work on your book page number 43. Now, 
The third part of the subtraction is subtraction on the number line. Do you know what is the meaning of subtraction on number line? A number line is a line of numbers ordered from greatest to least when working on subtraction problems. You will move to the left on the number line. It is like counting backward. First jump on the first number and then count backward. Now look at this example. We have a number line from 0 to 15 and our equation is 13 minus 3. So first of all what we will do? We will take a jump from 0 till number 13 and after that we will take 3 steps back. 1, 2, 3. So the third step where we have finished that is number 10. So the answer is 10. Students, we have completed our three parts of subtraction in this video lecture. So just have a look at your notebook work. First of all, you will write date. Next, you will write chapter 3. In next line, you will write subtraction on the number line. Then leave one line. You will write number 1. And after you will draw a number line from 0 to 15. You will write numbers there. 0 to 15. And after that you will write equation 15 minus 5. You, how you will solve it? You will take a jump from 0 to 15. After that, we will take 5 steps back. So let's start count it. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So answer is 10. And then leave one line. In next number, you will write next second number. Again, you will draw a number line. 0 to 15. You will write the numbers downside 0 to 15 and in next line you will write 14 minus 3. Now we will solve it. We will take a jump from 0 to 14 as 14 is the first number. So next number is 3. So we will take 3 steps back. Let's start to count it. 13 12, 11. So answer is 11. Students, I hope you understand all. As we have discussed three parts of subtraction in this lecture and rest of the parts we will discuss in next video lecture. So now I will meet you in my next video lecture. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.